Hey everyone, today we're in Texas, more specifically Forreston, Texas, which is just south of Waxahachie. We're here to visit the final resting place of someone that I really enjoyed a whole lot as a kid. And it was Denver Pyle who played Uncle Jesse on the Dukes of Hazard. As a kid, I had two lunch boxes. One was Superman and the other was Dukes of Hazard. I had all kinds of things that were Dukes of Hazard, though, from t-shirts to toys. And Uncle Jesse was a big part of that. So let me show you where he's located. If you should visit, look for that flagpole and just follow the road around the outside. And you can park anywhere through there. I picked a shade tree over there because it's really hot and then just make your way over to this marker right here and uh, as we get closer you'll see the name Johnston and you may be wondering well I thought we were gonna see the grave of Denver Pyle and we are and we are looking at it sort of let me just say that uh, Denver Pyle has been interred here next to the Johnston family. And the reason for it is J.T. Johnson and Aaron Birch, those are both uh, Denver Pyle's uh, in-laws. They were his second wife's parents. And his second wife's name was Tippy Johnston. He married her in 1983. And like I said, it was his second wife. Now, Denver Pyle was born in Bethune, Colorado on May 11th, 1920. He was named for his mother's favorite city, and he died of lung cancer on December 25th, 1997. Now, his remains, like I said, have been interred here somewhere next to his in-laws. You can see this says Pappy and Nana, and... Uh, He's located here somewhere. It could be right here beside it, or it could be on the back side of it. I will show you this. Someone else has clearly been here and it's been a while. There's a flower right here. So it's possible that he could be here on the back side, but I think he's probably on that front part. But if you look here, someone has placed a frame and it's been a while back. There's duct tape trying to hold the glass in. It's just basically a printout and saying his date of birth, the year, and the date of death, the year. It says, your fans will always love you. Rest in peace. You will always be missed, Uncle Jesse. And uh, if you look up there on the upper left, you can see him with, uh, I think that's Grizzly Adams. For one, I remember he was starring in that. Now, he had a ton of roles. His list of shows is quite impressive. I know he's best known as Uncle Jesse, but he's been in a slew of spaghetti westerns and television shows. He played Caleb on Gunsmoke. He also played an outlaw on The Lone Ranger and... Uh, he appeared in Bonanza as well. A whole bunch of popular shows and different movies. And some of the roles are credited and some of them are uncredited. He also played Frank Hamer in the 1967 movie Bonnie and Clyde, which unfortunately it's not really his choosing, but Frank Hamer ended up looking like a buffoon in that. But one of the other roles that he was known for is Briscoe Darling on the Andy Griffith Show, and I believe he played that for like six years. So his list, if you look up what he's done film-wise and show-wise, it's quite impressive. But like I said, he passed away from lung cancer on Christmas Day, 1997, and his memorial services were held at the... First Baptist Church in Waxahachie, Texas. And then that's when he was uh, laid to rest here. I'm not exactly sure if they were cremated remains or if it was an actual body that was placed here in the ground. So if anyone knows that, 
please leave a comment below. It's pretty interesting that he was born in Colorado and then died in California, but yet is all the way out here and this is not a place that he grew up or anything. It's also sort of sad that he doesn't have a marker here, so it would be nice if Hollywood would raise some money and get something done for him. I think he deserves something. Now he does have a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, but he needs something here in Texas as well. If you can think of any other roles that you remember him being in that are memorable or mean something to you, leave a comment below. As always, thank you for watching. We'll see you guys next time.